Aloha. It's been a while. Been a couple months since our last video update, so we wanted to bring this to you, jump into the new year. We've got a bunch of numbers to share with you. 2022 was a wild ride, to say the least, and I've got a lot of exciting info to share with you. Um, first, wanted to start out and say, hope you and your families had a great holiday season. We were lucky enough to see a lot of you out here on island. It was a beautiful time. We had exceptional weather through that period. Um, so yeah, that was great. Jumping into uh, just finishing the first month of 23. Um, we actually, I don't know if you can see behind me, we've got our first clear day in about four to five days. We've gotten more rain here on Maui in the last five days than we had for about half of the year last year. So it's been a, been a wet, wet few days, but um, finally clearing out and we've got some sunshine. So happy to see it. So we'll jump right in here. Um, wanted to just, we're, we're gonna run through the year end numbers and then I'll, I'll kind of run into a couple themes that we're expecting for this year. But basically, obviously, first thing we wanna know, median sales prices. Um, our median for homes last year bumped up to 1,105. So 1 1.1 million for the median. Condos were at 775,000 at the year end. Homes, that brought them up 11% on the year. So basically home values up 11% year over year. Condos up 19%. So condo values nearing 20% year over year. I know that's a lot different from a lot of markets on the mainland. Um, I know a lot of markets saw pretty flat growth or even negative growth. Um, so yeah, values on Maui still staying fairly firm. Um, I mean, gosh, condos up 20%. That was better than the climb from 20 to 21. So um, yeah, definitely definitely some nice values there. Um, our sales volumes, this is where we're seeing the big hit. Sales volumes and houses down 25% from this time last year. Again, sales volumes for condos down 34%. So those volume decreases, what we expected, that's what we really saw about halfway through the year, that really started to take effect. Coincidentally, that's when rates started to climb. Um, you know, going into third, third, fourth quarter last year is when rate, rates really spiked. That absolutely killed activity in a lot of markets. Um, thankfully, Maui being, uh, you know, a pretty healthy cash buyer market, um, our volumes, you know, weren't hit as dramatically as some other markets. But again, 25 and 34 percent percent respectively for homes and condos. Our inventory, what happens when sales volumes decrease? Inventory is going to climb. Our inventory for homes is up 31% and our inventory for condos is up 20, 29. So both of them hovering around 30. Now this was to be expected. Um, inventory has been creeping up in most markets around the country and this was a really a lagging effect from the rate spike. Now, days on market have remained fairly stable for homes. Typical time to sell, right around 120 days for homes. Condos came down quite a bit. Um, we're down to 77 days for average days on market. Um, that's from 120 last year. So condos remain hot. And I'll jump into this a little later. Um, but yeah, condo activity has stayed quite robust. They're moving quicker than homes right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, jumping into the mortgage rates. So rates have been really the headline talk on all the national news. Obviously everyone knows about it. Interest rates have spiked really about doubled year over year. So this time last year, we were hovering about three and a half. Now we're at just over six, six, one, seven. They've actually in the past month or so, they've stabilized a bit. Um, our peak for rates was in late October last year. They were hovering about seven and a half. So that's kind of when rates peaked and then they've stabilized a bit since then. Um, that's encouraging. Obviously we're expecting, well, to be honest, we don't really know what the Fed's gonna do um, over the near term. We're, um, we're seeing some indicators that, you know, all of the, uh, you know, kind of the work and the rate hikes and stuff the Fed has been working on quantitative tightening um, has started to have an effect on the market. CPI is coming down and we're seeing some, you know, uh, I guess decrease in the inflation, which is the goal, uh, that, that, that's been their goal. So 
Uh, mortgage rates, we're hoping to remain somewhat stable for the near term, um, next 36 months. Outside of that, I don't have the crystal ball. Um, if anyone does, please let me know. That would be helpful in this uh, type of economy right now. Um, so I want to jump into some general themes on what we're seeing just overall. Uh, general themes, the resort markets have obviously seen a decrease in activity overall. That was to be expected, right? But on the flip side, compared to most markets around the country, we've remained fairly active, fairly stable. On the ultra high end, you know, 10 mil plus, there's still been a continued decent volume of sales there. In our, you know, more resort medians in that, you know, two to five million range, the activity has been pretty healthy. Uh, so overall, things are still looking quite good, um, to be honest. The single family segment has slowed more than condos. Now, short term rentals, far and away the leader right now in market activity. Short term rental inventories remain quite tight. I've got a lot of clients that have been looking and you can attest to this that when the well-priced opportunities come available, they're still moving pretty quick. Um, so if you are in that arena on the buy or sell side, happy to discuss what that means for you. Um, but yeah, definitely still a healthy, healthy market activity there, followed by residential condos. Things are still moving quite well. Um, single family homes have slowed, you know, the most of any segment, but still quite strong. I mean, you look at Wailea right now, we only have four homes available under $4 million. Um, that isn't a big increase from what we saw last year this time. So, you know, I guess the overall, you know, running theme is the, while the market has shifted slightly, we haven't seen a dramatic, dramatic effect yet. And um, we sort of expect for the near term that to be the trend. So, you know, a lot of our clients we've been meeting with and discussing strategy on both sides, buy and sell. Um, on the sell side, the most important things to consider right now are pricing your property appropriately. Um, the days of throwing a number out there and getting it are, are all but gone. Um, but the properties that are priced in line with the market are still moving and are still seeing strong interest. Um, on the buy side, yep, yeah, you got a little more leverage now, absolutely. But, you know, we've definitely got some clients that are hunting for deals, shooting for 20, 30% below ask on stuff. And it, it's just not that kind of market yet. I don't know if we're going to get to that kind of market, but we're not there yet. So, um, yeah, it's less competitive than it was. Absolutely. You know, first quarter of last year versus now, everything was getting multiple offers. Now, well-priced properties are seeing maybe one to two offers, but far less competitive. Um, so yes, you do have more leverage, but within reason. Um, look forward to seeing how you know Q1 shakes out here and through the rest of 2023. Happy to be a resource for you. Please reach out with any questions and we look forward to helping you out. Talk to you soon. Aloha.